Good morning lovely yogis and welcome back to my channel. Finally the first video um, of me sharing a little yoga content with you. Today I'm joined by my little cutie who's already seven months old and as you see he can already sit. My little yoga baby. So if you're out there also having a baby um, then don't fear, you can always do yoga with the baby. It's no problem at all. It just takes a little time. It doesn't have to be long. Um, today, we are just doing a little something that so you, mama, feel your best. Taking care of your little one, right? Yes, taking care of your little one. So I always start, or I always love to start on all fours, especially early in the morning. You've probably been awake the entire night or several times throughout the night and usually we're very tired in the morning so this is going to be a very gentle flow just you know to wake up your body and do something good for yourself so come on all fours um you want to also come on all fours <laughs> and then just move your back a little bit into a cow and cat back and then round toward the ground again and up to the floor and this feels so nice on the spine I don't know about you guys but me constantly carrying my heavy baby around my back really took a toll the last few months so it feels so good to loosen up your back and your spine you can also move your hips from side to side or do a little wave all together and just feel into yourself and see what's feeling good today and then also your neck a little rose with your neck and mm. <laughs> and this feels so nice in the entire back and upper back all right, and when you feel like your back is all loosened up, you can put up your toes and then push yourself up into the first downward facing dog. You don't have to straighten your legs right away. Keep them a little bit, and um, keep the knees a little bent so that your back is still straight. <laughs> but continuing pushing your, your, hip towards the sky, your booty towards the sky to really, really lengthen your back. Make sure your fingers are wide, spread wide apart. And if you want, you can also pedal your feet a little bit to loosen up the back of your legs. <laughs> and you love flying with my feet, huh? <laughs> If you feel like you do snap enough and just come to stillness, you can again nod your head or say yes and no, snap your neck again, and then just breathe briefly in your chest and in your belly, and let everything out. Let's send your chi on the mat. And be grateful for this beautiful day ahead, for this beautiful life you created. Let's join you on the mat today. And with the next exhale, come back into all four. And then what I also like to do to loosen up or strengthen my back even more is the dog bird combination or bird dog pose I think it's called <laughs> even though I don't even know why it's called a dirt bird dog pose but I think that's what it's called <laughs> anyway so you extend your left arm and your right leg and exhale put them back to the ground and then switch sides extend your right arm and your left leg and exhale put it back towards the ground 
inhale again, left foot, arm and right leg, and exhale to the ground. And inhale, right arm and left leg, and exhale back to the ground. Inhale, in, and exhale. Make sure your neck is all straight, you're looking towards the mat. constantly caring for someone else, for a little baby, sometimes we store so much pressure, so much stress in our hips, and this is a very nice and gentle way to release the pressure. You can also imagine with each inhale, you send the breath into your hips, and with each exhale, you release all the pressure, the stress into your So look onto your mat and then again send your breath into your hips wherever the tension lies and try to release this tension with each exhale into your mat into the ground.
right foot in front of you and lay onto the, your back for this. You can also use your baby as a little weight. Look at your child. <laughs> yeah, you do, baby. And sit them on your hips if they can already sit or if they don't, then just lay them on there. Your feet are a little hip width apart. Lay all the way down and then push your hips up to the air. This also makes your baby laugh. And roll vertebrae for vertebrae, your spine back down. And then push back up, give your booty a nice squeeze at the top, and back down. Make sure you also keep your abs engaged. This is also very, very great for the pelvic floor, which we really need after the reverse to strengthen our pelvic floor. And then push back up, very controlled very nicely and babies are having fun as you see <laughs> and don't forget to breathe Ha <laughs> 
So sometimes you also have to stop for a little feeding session. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, my sweetie. Okay guys, here we are back. So this also happens. And don't be afraid when it does. This is totally fine. Um, you have to take a feeding break because your baby decides he is a little hungry or maybe a little thirsty in the midst of your yoga session. That's why I'm doing these videos to show you this is totally fine. You can still have the time on your mat. You can still do yoga, even though when you have to take breaks. It doesn't matter. You're still doing something for you and you're doing a great job. I'm so proud of you that you're taking this time out of the busy day to do something for you. And your child will benefit, really. Fill up your own cup first and then you can fill up everyone else's cup. So what I wanted to do actually is something also for your lower back because chances are when you're carrying your baby around you probably have lower back pain because I do big times. So the, my favorite stretch I like to do is called set the needle. You lay down on your back. Again, you have your um, leg, legs up roughly 90 degrees. And then you take your, and you have them roughly also hip width apart. And you take your right leg and put your foot over your left leg. And then grab your left leg and pull it towards your chest. And this is really, really amazing to lengthen your lower back. You should feel a little pull also here and you can choose how far you'd like. You can also stay all the way back here, it doesn't matter. Or if you can't reach at all, then make sure to grab a little bag or even a scarf, whatever you have in your household and wrap it here around your leg and then pull it towards you. into your lower back and with each exhale try to release some more of the tension also amazing for your entire back is fitting happy baby so lift your legs up and then grab the outside of your feet so your your arms are coming from the inside so inside your knees and then grab the outside of your feet and make sure your lower back is on the ground and your legs are roughly in a 90 degree angle again and you can either choose to stand still or rock a little bit from side to side to give your lower back a little massage. And this feels so amazing. I really, really love this pose, especially as a mom. up and then bend your right leg extend your left leg and put your right foot or the sole of your foot here inside of your upper thigh 
and inhale, reach your arms far to the sky and exhale, make sure you bend at your hip forward so that you have a straight back. Only come as much forward as your entire back is straight. And then you either reach your toes or you just put your hands here in front of your ground. Depending on how flexible you are today, usually early in the morning we're not so flexible yet. So whatever feels good for you right now. Yes, if you're also doing it. And also look forward a little bit further away from your feet so that also your neck is straight. And breathe. You love to do pigeon poses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're my yoga baby. Switch sides so your right leg stays in front of you. Left leg with the sole of your foot comes into your upper or on your upper thigh. And then inhale, reach your arms as far as you can towards the ceiling. And exhale, bend forward. And really feel this amazing stretch in the back of your upper thigh. And also imagine that you're really pulling your lower back, all the vertebrae apart from each other to really feel a nice stretch in your lower back. Funny story, I never had lower back pain until I stopped practicing yoga because I was pregnant or had my first child and didn't have so much time anymore. And then all of a sudden I had lower back pain. It was like, going on yeah because I've stopped practicing yoga I stopped stretching stretching really has so many amazing health benefits and that's why it's so important to hop on the mat and even if it's just for five minutes a day it will make a great difference you will see
body you release and then meet me in a cross like position if you're a baby and your time allows it then close your eyes for a few minutes and feel into your body how you feel right now Deep inhale and exhale through your mouth and gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy day and joining me on the mat. I'm so proud of you. You're such an amazing mom. You go and I wish you an amazing day and see you in the next video. Bye.